Hello, very warm welcome. What the fuck is this? A bit of sunshine in the UK. Holy fuck. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, is he the right man? This is what we need to be discussing. Is he the right man for Manchester United? Tactically inept last night. He went with the right team selection, but substitutions, what a farce. Just relying on Bruno Cavani to dig us out of a hole instead of using this bench. But in fairness, was he making a point that the bench is just not good enough? Um, look at the bench last night. Wan Mata, Fred, Ahmad, uh, Van der Beek, Twan Zebu, Maguire. It's just not a strong bench, is it? He got the lights of City, you can just bring on Jesus, Aguero, Mares, And we've got the likes of, well, I mean, Danny van den Beek. He's criminal. He didn't even come on yesterday. Like, what a waste of a signing he was. Absolutely criminal. Just out on my bike, very sunny for once. The first day of sunshine in seems what like forever. There's fucking midges and everything around my head. Yeah, I don't know, I'm starting to question it now. I love Ole Gunnar Soska. Gave us one of the best nights in the history of Manchester United. But last night he got found out by a guy who was deemed not good enough for Arsenal. Yet the man's got four Europa Leagues. But he was ridiculed for bad English. So, <coughs> it is what it is. I mean, Solskjaer got found out last night by Emery. He's not brave. With his bench, he's just not brave will not make subs quickly. You could never see Ole Gunnar Solskjaer taking someone off at half time. I mean, you go through the team last night, and I'll give an honest opinion. Like always, I don't beat around the bush. We got a big hill coming here, fucking. This could be difficult. Holding the camera, and going up like a one in three. What a beautiful day today. Finally, look at the cloud. Finally, some blue sky. Um, yeah, so we go for the team. David De Gea did not have a good game. Um, yeah, not many people stood out. But David De Gea didn't have a good game. Let 11 penalties in. And then he obviously missed the crucial one. But we don't blame De Gea for that because any one of them could have missed. Then we get on to Wan Bissaka, who had a good game in my opinion. Luke Shaw was quite average. Looking back on the game, he was probably at fault for the goal, along with Lindelof. Um, Victor Lindelof, bang average. Nowhere near good enough. Eric Bailly was quite poor as well. Um, oh, climbing a big hill here. McTominay was man of the match for United. Absolutely brilliant, considering he came in that deep roll for Fred. Pogba, you need your big men to step up. He didn't. Bruno Fernandes, non-existent. Once again goes missing in a big game. Um, but yeah, he gets the favouritism vote because he's a fan's favourite. Um, Marcus Rashford, very poor, missed a glaring opportunity. The racial abuse, 70, 70 posts racially abusing him 
and one was the school teacher. It's sickening. Hopefully he's named and shamed. But racial abuse aside, Rashford was poor. So was Greenwood. And Cavani was exceptional again. Work rate, outstanding. Scores the goal. Um, yeah, at times he was in the left back role. And this is a guy who's old. Yeah. And then Solska doesn't make changes. 109 minutes to make a sub. That is comical for a, a Manchester United manager. And I think the writing's on the wall for Solska. Even by losing the Europa League final. I'm not Ole out, but... Yeah, I think the writing's on the wall. I think that could be a huge downfall. I mean, winning, se finishing seconds are relevant when City win the league by 12, 12 points, 14 points, and they could win the Champions League just to put the final nail in the coffin. So, unbelievable, really. But I think the writing's on the wall for Ole Gunnar. Last night he got found out. Just going past Barker and Stone House here. Hi. Yeah, it's amazing how many weird looks you get. <laughs> I'm holding a camera and talking into it. They're like, what the fuck is this guy doing talking to himself? Here we go, finally we've got a nice hill to go down. What a lovely day today. Oh, through a pothole. Oh. Get a bit of speed up. We've got a long straight ahead. Yeah, so comment down below your thoughts on Ole Gunnar. I'll have to watch this back, check the wind's not too bad on the video when I watch it back. Yeah, I, I genuinely think the writing's on the wall for Ole Gunnar. You can't go into a European final and put that display in. Fucking hell, I've got to get Arctic coming towards me. Fucking wanger. Fucking hell. Literally sent me into ditch. What a fucker. Fucking hell. There's loads of puddles in the ditch because it was raining. Well, it's been raining for ever. Bloody hell, I got wet. Fucking hell. Just another different video. I mean, I'm a keen cyclist. Always out on the bike. And today is a very good day to be cycling. I'm actually sweating already. I'm not even halfway around my ride yet. So that just shows the temperature today. Because I'm quite fit. But yeah, anyway, back to Wally Gunnar Solskjaer. I think that match last night could be critical. Like the board are not going to sack him. Because they see progress. Second place. But last night was a key instrumental that we need a centre back. And if the board, the owners go out and sign Harry Kane instead of a centre back, then be prepared for a top four dogfight. Because let's be real, um, yeah, Liverpool are going to improve, Chelsea, Tottenham. Pochettino might be coming back, so they're going to be strong. Interesting times ahead. I think that could be it, right? Worrying. Very worrying. For Ollie. Yeah. I mean, he got found out last night, and we all love Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but 
maybe he's not cut out for the United job. I don't see him as ruthless enough for myself for a United manager. But with the way the club is at the minute, you could get like an experienced manager in. As we've seen with Mourinho. And it's quite ironic that Mourinho won the Europa League, Solskjaer didn't. Yet he was not deemed good enough. So it's. I feel like Ole kind of gets away with it because of the history and what he's done for the football club. So he's getting like a free ride. But when is enough enough? There we are. Old guy just passed me, right? On a bike. And he's got like three layers on. What is that about? It's like 22 degrees, I think, today. Well, we're going to have to wrap it here because I've got to go down a big hill now. And I, I need two hands on the wheel. Very, very tight bend. So, yeah. Comment down below your thoughts. I thought I'd do a little video while I'm out. And, yeah. I feel this game. We look back on this game and it could be critical. Ole as a manager. He's got to go out and get prime targets. And if he's not backed, <coughs> he will be sacked. We can't have, say this time next year, a second and another trophy season. Enough is enough. I mean, it's been four years. That's, that's not good enough for United. So yeah, comment down below. Adios, adios. Oh.